<laughs> Hell yeah. Menacing, menacing. Oh, sorry, that's me. I I've, I've yeah. got caught up in other things. Cecily's voice is soft and low. It's strangely menacing? No. Still arousing. I'm sorry, but the village chief told me to do this. It's the only way. What are you? I don't have a chance to finish. Well, not my words anyway. Uh. Cecily, come on. Cecily, Cecily raises her hand and says something. She expels her voice into the air. It isn't a shout, but it still sets my teeth on edge. They scream out of my mouth and climb oh. back in. <laughs> I know what this means. This simple, single command. Whoa! Whoa. God. Holy Jesus shit! Fucking Christ! God damn! I'm more invested in this than I thought I was gonna be. <laughs> Fuck. She's a mage, just like my bitch of a mother. She knows magic. <laughs> just Ugh. like my bitch of a mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I never suspected a thing. Just, nah. That's why I'm so slow to react. I'm too slow. <laughs> In the end, it isn't Cecily's fire spell that brings me to my knees, powerful though as it is. And it is really powerful. I didn't get hit by, like, a level one spell. This is, like, level five, and I still made it. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I'll give credit where credit's due. For such an unassuming, ordinary-looking girl, she's very strong. Well trained. The fire licks at my sides. I look back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like that. <laughs> it sears the skin off my flesh. Fuck. I, Jesus. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It really... <laughs> It really does hurt. <laughs> but Cecily isn't the one who defeats me. That right is reserved for God. <laughs> <laughs> Except now, it's my own foolishness. Oh, okay, yeah, what the but fuck it, But ever. it's okay. also her. No, she didn't yeah. do it. I, I ended myself. Because I'm okay. really cool. She's... <laughs> fucking Arcadius is like a sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's... she's like, you didn't wrong. win. You didn't win. She kicked my ass, but she didn't, like kick my ass it was my stupidity that did it she's like she's like when you're when you're playing a fucking a fighting game online and you beat someone and the guy that you beat is like damn you're fucking trash bro get better yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah get good fuck off yeah <laughs> fucking trash ass character oh, took pick a different titties. one yeah <laughs> oh I guess I my no. willingness to trust I thought I dispensed of that years ago. Apparently not. It still really hurt. If only Cecily wasn't so wrapped and pretty. <laughs> oh, pretty girls always really will be the death of me. Oh, Fuck this yeah. is gay as hell. Good. I love it. Good. <laughs> well, anyway. I wake up, try to open my eyes. First one, then the other. Then both. Ah, oh, you're then finally neither. awake. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you were trying to cross the border. <laughs> Fuck off! Shut up back there. <laughs> <laughs> they take me down a wooden cart into a small village. <laughs> They're about to execute us, and a horse thief, horse thief runs away. He doesn't make it far. Fucking the dragon, dragon comes <laughs> back! <laughs> Burns the city to the ground. Why does this follow me everywhere? God, I hope I'm it not related to the dragon. It comes back to fucking Skyrim. Jesus Christ. It hurts. My head is pounding. Ugh. The inside of my mouth tastes like charcoal. When I swallow, I feel my throat convulsing. It, it feels like I've inhaled a ball bearing. I choke. Knees weak. Fuck, I'm in prison. Ugh. The air is rank. It smells of death and burnt. No, that's, that's just me. <laughs> Take me a few moments to work out that the <laughs> no. smell is coming from Wait, me. How, how do we keep writing this fucking game? How? how? This game was perfect. Yeah, this game great. was perfect for us to play. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. 
Ah, I see you're awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. I lift my head. You were trying to cross the border. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> what happened to the horse thief? Is he okay? <laughs> there is Cecily. But she looks different to how she did when I first met her. More serious somehow. Almost threatening. Cecily, I, I thought you were just a pathetic, clumsy, helpless, <laughs> whiny, annoying, but God. attractive. Again, 8 out of 10. Creature. Yeah, people see the fucking heads and that's all they see. <sighs> you got me there. You thought wrong. People tend not to take me seriously. That's their loss. They only realize how powerful I am until it's too late. When it's hmm. too late, rather. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> you make it sound like you lure innocent women to your village and set them on fire all the time, which props. It's a very specific kink. <laughs> I'm I'm actually down for it if you want to. <laughs> and plus, you can like, regenerate. It works out. I know. I was going to say, it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> it's like, damn, I should have noticed the bat she's wearing with the number of women that she's lured into the village and set on fire. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, it's not a hobby of mine, but I'd hardly call you innocent. Luckily for you, I didn't cause any lasting damage. I used mm. quite a powerful spell, but you look fine. Uh, she's right. Her fire, her fire spell was rather powerful. It singed my skin, and I could feel it peeling away like strips of wallpaper. God. It's, it's better now, maybe even better than before. Uh, which is more than can be said for my clothes. Even though they look they exactly look, they look the same. same. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's it's really dirty on my f on my boots. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Your designer boots. Yeah. Well, it seems the legends are true. You really are durable. Yeah, all the best warrior priests are. Did they really operate on you and Spinel? That's what people say. I mean, have you seen this ass? Yes, I have seen yeah. it, and it's uneven. Fuck. <laughs> that hurts more than the burns, honestly. <laughs> honestly and I'm not even at liberty to tell you that. If I shared any official church secrets, they'd have my head. Hmm. Oh, you don't need to concern yourself with the church right now. They're the least of your worries. <laughs> I smile sardonically. Hmm. Well, that makes a nice change. Ugh. How dare you. <laughs> For, <laughs> for a few moments, Cecily's stony expression shifts. I think I can see a pang of guilt, perhaps, on her pretty face. You don't know me, bitch. <laughs> 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 for all her big talk, she's still a relatively young woman. Ten, was it? Twenty? I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> but her expression soon tightens. She grits her teeth. And not the ones that are <laughs> What? What do you mean not the ones that are What? Care to explain that one? <laughs> move, the, move the dialogue, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> okay. I bet you don't even know why you're here, do you? <laughs> well, if I had to take a guess, you were hitting a lot of my backstory. But it seems like a, quite a poor way to pay someone back for saving your life, I must admit. Uh, so perhaps you do things differently in Far Cry Village. Yeah, you're a Far Cry from a fucking hero. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Come on, got him. you know my life was never in any danger. I did wonder about that. I know everything, of course. If you're such a proficient mage, why didn't you protect yourself? Everybody knows Mandragoras are weak against fire. It was recreational, duh. <laughs> uh, recreational Mandragora. I feel like if... The, Legalized the, Mandragora. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what do you think I was doing, Arcadia? Kink, 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 kink stuff? I don't know. It didn't take me too long to figure out. Wait. You were trying to lure me into a trap. Or a quinceañera. <laughs> That's right. It worked out rather well, didn't it? <laughs> I can always escape. The only bars I contend with are the ones in my hot verses. These can't hold me. 
<laughs> I'm not so sure about that. You don't look like you can rap with anything. <laughs> Fuck. You don't even have a mic. Hmm. She's got me there. I look to my left, then to my right, then in a flash, I'm out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, she does a bug. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stone wells. Fuck. Stone walls. Stone wells. Stone walls. Stone bars. Everything here is made of stone. I don't have my sword. Probably made of stone at Why this point. Why the fuck would I give you your sword? <laughs> <laughs> to, to be nice, I guess. I don't know any magic. I could pick the lock, maybe. But I wouldn't be surprised if this cell is enchanted somehow. This is quite a precocious situation. Precarious. Precarious. Whatever. It really is amazing. Me? <laughs> Thank you. I never would have thought that I, Cecily Rhodes, could capture the Great Arcadia. I'm not that great. I just happened to kill a lot of people. <laughs> You I can quote me on that. my road in the blood of my enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did. You let a lot of people die. Well, I'm inclined to agree with her, but so few people have told me this during my lifetime. It trips me up. I beg your pardon. What? You heard me. You let everybody in Freycross die. Ah. Ah. So she knows about that, does she? Shit, she was doing foreshadowing earlier. Yeah, that wasn't my proudest hour. That's putting it lightly. Do you even know why you're here? I asked you this before, but like, do you even know why you're here? <laughs> but for real, is this time. Uh, well, I'd like to believe that we're all here for a purpose, but oh life my isn't a grand design, oh it's just God, a joke. shut the fuck I up. Don't you work for the church? <laughs> fuck. Fine, sorry. Anyway, listen, I, I, I guess it could be a grudge, maybe? I don't know. Listen, it's not just me. I wasn't involved. Not directly. But my sister. Ugh. My sister's the village chief. She's the leader of far Fairside. Fair, fair, far, far cry. Far cry. Yeah, far cry. <laughs> Do you, did you know that? I mean, I, I do now. I, 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 I don't think you mentioned it earlier. I said she was sick as hell. Yeah, so that makes sense, I guess. Well, it's true. Our family has governed this village for centuries. We keep it safe from harm. Fairside isn't a rich, I mean, Far Cry isn't a rich village. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mine rare minerals, and we don't have any deposits of coal or oil nearby. All we have are farms, pigs and chickens. We try to fend for ourselves, and most of our population is illiterate. If you look here on this map, I've prepared a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> of this lovely village that you will be imprisoned in. Huh, you did a great job considering that you can't read or write. This is all very clear. <laughs> well, I said the majority is is illiterate, not ah, me. Obviously, I'm smart enough. as fuck. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to make that assumption. <sighs> now, we do have some connections with Freycross Village, though. At least we did before it burned to the ground and you fucking walked away, you fucking asshole. I came back, and then I never looked back. But that was all before it went up in flames. <laughs> Do you know what their screams, the screams sounded like? Because I've been imagining it for eight yeah, years. Yeah, could you, could you please simulate one for me? Yeah. Okay, get ready. Okay, I'm, I'm there. Oh, I'm, like, God, she was so hot, but she left. Oh, and my if God. I die, it's not her fault. Ah! <laughs> That's probably what it sounded like. I, <laughs> well, I feel like I was there. <laughs> yeah, it was just like I was there. Thank you. Um, I do think your simulation needs some work, though. Yes, until that happened. Mm. Cecily's hands tremble. She clenches them into fists. I clench mine into scissors. We put her on paper scissors. <laughs> she paper wins. Scissors. Damn. <laughs> it was 12 years ago. Uh, this what? is Next slide, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was 12 years ago. My mother and grandmother took Celeste to Freycross Village. We had a bad harvest that year, and we were going to mm. trade some of our cows for wheat <laughs> and corn. <laughs> Okay, cool. She's reading off the PowerPoint. I, I yeah. stayed home with my father. Picture. Uh, I was too young that's, to travel. That's my dad. <laughs> and anyway, 
I'm younger than Celestia. There's the family tree. Okay. Uh, okay. I wasn't going to be the next head. I didn't need to see how trade is done. Hmm. Next slide. <laughs> my, my sister was so excited. She'd never been on a trip so far away from home before. She braided her hair and tied it up with a green ribbon. She wore her best dress and packed her favorite nightgown. Here is a picture. This is a picture of the dress. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> I'm actually glad you prepared this. Yeah, I, I thought it would help, actually. Yeah. So. Um, Do we need popcorn? Um, she she thought she was go. It was like going on holiday. She made sure to bring her most prized possession too. I hope it was a fireproof suit. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it was actually something very flammable. Uh, your, her woodcut of you, oh. Ar Arcadia, the lady warrior and hero of Kadath, which she bought <laughs> with her own money. From the traveling market of Melora, which is located here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's some map. Yeah. I look at the stone floor. I'm really, really bored. <laughs> and also, it can help me avoid Cecily's gaze. <sighs> That's the worst thing about being regarded, being regaled stories when where you star as the main character. They never talk about the murder. <laughs> For better or for worse, you already know how these things are going to end. I've seen this PowerPoint in many ways, shapes, and forms. Sometimes in pleas for people's lives or mercy. <laughs> other times in a last whisper before life escapes a body. <sighs> I, I will give her... <laughs> I will give her a B minus. It would have been an A if she had like looked at the slides less, but no. I, I had to look at my notes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when when they arrived at Freycross Village after a days long oh, okay. uh, and weary travel, however, they discovered something amazing, something that put all thought of trade off their minds. <laughs> this sounds like she's reading off the palm of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on the slide. They found. You! Here's a picture. <laughs> you, you, had of you. you had arrived at the village before they had, and there was a banquet being held in your honor. Everybody was excite so excited. They thought it was a good omen. My sister especially, because she had that flammable this is one of my favorite bits. thing. I love this bit. Where did you get that picture of me? Shut up. Cecily shakes her head. Oh. <laughs> she was overjoyed. You were her muse. Her idol, and she really <laughs> did love you. Those were bullet points. <laughs> <laughs> she loved you, and then. Star wipe. When the dragon <laughs> attacked, here's the dragon. Uh, you abandoned the village. You could have defeated it, but you didn't. The villagers <laughs> went looking for you, but you weren't in your room. You'd run away. Now, hold on. I abandoned the village before the village dragon whatever showed up. Also, uh, they all died oh, that immediately, that, I'm assuming. Well, clearly that wasn't correct. Shit. Here's you your no. stats. Here's the dragon stats. As you can see, you could have two-shot it. Yeah, uh, clearly, like, you had... Your power level was just as good, and if you had used your opener, uh, you could have uh, wiped it out within at least three turns. <laughs> What the f- how do you know my stats? <laughs> and you let everybody burn. Do you have pictures of the- Everybody died. <laughs> here's pictures here's, of everyone here's, here's the survivors. Here's a picture of them. You see them? Yeah, because there are none. Everybody died. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's a blank page! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's perfect. My mother. Here's a picture. And my grandmother. <laughs> oh. They are hot. And Celesta <laughs> almost died too. But she oh, did. Okay, she didn't. So, so that's good. The dragon's fire caught her legs and the hem of her skirt. It burned them horribly. Now she can't walk. And you should know what dragon's fire can do. It can burn away flesh. It can <laughs> turn bones to ash. Um, I think yeah. you covered this already. More bullet points. <laughs> Look, it, it doesn't allow healing. What? That's right. Oh. My sister's legs won't ever heal, no matter what we do. She's forced to relive the sensation of having her skin melted away from what? her flesh every waking hour of her life. Oh, that holy shit. That's, that's actually pretty listen, gnarly. I'm not... I'm sorry to... I feel like being paraplegic doesn't mean you experience pain from how you lost 
Your legs? Do like, you? If, if I don't you actually remove know. the legs, then clearly that would go away. They yeah, exactly. Right. Got him. Yeah. Checkmate, okay. atheist. Checkmate. But yeah. if she can't, even if she can't feel her legs, then she. Yeah. I don't know. For the last. I don't know. Twelve years. Big number twelve on this list. <laughs> okay. What is that weird number? <laughs> <laughs> but that isn't the worst thing. That isn't what hurts her the most. It's the emotional Did put pain. The and like, like <laughs> literally, it's the emotional pain. Did she put the wooden figure up her butt? Because that's the first thing I would have tried. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I, I think I have a relatively good idea what that might be. I don't even need to ask. She tells me anyway. I can remember it clearly. Oh, flashback? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. The young girl, her dirty nightgown, her legs, blackened and burnt and horribly melted. The smell of burning bodies and melting flesh was unbearable, but it really made me want barbecue. Oh god. She should have just killed her then. Right? Right? And in a quiet voice taut with pain, the girl asked. Why? I didn't know what to say. I didn't have any answer to give. Did you guys miss this cutscene? Because we're doing it again. <laughs> yeah, because we keep yeah. fucking rehashing it. It's literally the same text, I think. <laughs> I could have said sorry, but that would have been nothing more than a meaningless gesture. An empty gesture and meaningless noise, one could say. So I didn't apologize. I laughed and instead looked down at the girl with her burnt legs and her tears-filled eyes, and I simply said... <laughs> Walk it off. <laughs> <Walk to life. laughs> How no! insensitive could you have been? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? And then I walked away. And you didn't hear me say, please, oh baby, don't go. Oh, <laughs> I fell through the sky and then into water, <laughs> then back in the sky and then into a pitch black void. Goofy? Ugh. Oh boy. Gorge. <laughs> Deep free. I left her. <laughs> I was hoping she died that night so I wouldn't have anyone see what I had done. Celeste didn't die. She lay there Shit. on the ground in the dirt in pain and agony for almost two days. Damn. Arcadia, it's Celesta. They put bugs in her. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> They'll pay for this. <laughs> the village burnt around her and the smell of the smoke and dead bodies was almost more than she could bear she was only 12 not like hmm. 10 or 9 you you kept rattling <laughs> off ages in your head i heard you i can't i can't tell <laughs> she wanted Fuck. to die but she couldn't holy shit oh boo hoo and then, after these hellish two days, she was found by a group of people from Fairside. They have come on horseback to see why my mother and grandmother and big sister hadn't returned yet. And they found Celesta lying on the ground, dazed in an agony, but still alive. They brought her back here. They nursed her back to health, or what little health is afforded to her now. <coughs> She was the only one of my family who survived, and she never quite recovered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what hurt my sister the most was what you said. Walk it off? I had no idea! <laughs> yeah, what you did. Nothing. Well, you said something, but you did nothing. That's uh, right. Yeah. I bow my head. Cecily's right. Maybe I could have saved that young girl if I thought her life was God She's worth holy saving. Shit. But I can normally detect a scrub from a mile away, <laughs> so I didn't. <laughs> oh Jesus. She had a major NPC vibe, so I figured oh, it'd be no. safe to let her go. <laughs> Boy was I wrong. And I even knew with her legs mangled like that that even if she did survive, she wouldn't be able to survive happily. I knew what kind of fate would have awaited that young girl if I'd saved her, so I decided her life was no longer worth saving. Jesus Holy Christ. Christ! What the fuck? I left her to die. 
She couldn't even do that right. Jesus. You can have fun. Oh my God. Yeah, you can have fun sitting in this cell. Reflect on your actions. Think about what you did. I I Cecilia cautiously, then hopefully, and cautiously again. <laughs> and uh, if uh, I decide to apologize, will you let me go? If I was going to let you go, I never would have bothered capturing you to begin with. I almost thought that's like corrupting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only. <laughs> If only. <laughs> but then this game wouldn't be on Switch. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's what I thought too, but nah, I want to be sure. Despite what she's done to me, I still can't really imagine Cecily as a killer. She's too sweet, <laughs> too soft, too thick. <laughs> For all the animosity she might bear towards me, I don't think she's a bad person. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the bad person. That's why you're fucking behind bars, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> then again, I don't think most people are bad people. They're just worthless, you know? Oh my god. Cicely is think. too hot to be bad. Yeah! <laughs> Someone with a face that pretty can't possibly be evil. You don't I know how bad uh, uh, yeah. can I be? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, I don't think most of the soldiers from Sorel I fought in Kadath were bad people either. They were just doing their job. Oh, Poorly okay. Dad, yeah. But they were doing it. But they still killed Eloise. They would have killed me too. Even good people, if backed into a corner, can fight and kill with the best of them. So that contradicts what I said about literally Cecily everything. Earlier. Yeah. The worst of them, more like. So there are bad people. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't really think there's bad people. We're all Even good though there's people. bad people. Unless you get in a bad situation, then you can be a bad people, but not all people do that! Just the bad ones. But what about Cecily? Hmm. Come dawn the next day, you're going to be executed. Oh, fuck. She says it simply. There's no emotion in her voice. Okay, well, there, I would have liked to know that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Has the whole village come to this consensus, or can I plead my case in some sort of court of law? They were against it at first, but I argued on Celeste's behalf and convinced them that we should put you to death because you suck so fucking much, dude. <laughs> Damn. Soon they all came around. Yeah, she does suck! Let's kill her! <laughs> Everybody loves Celeste. There's even a show about it that we do. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do anything to make her feel better. Especially kill people. <laughs> It has laugh mm. tracks, yeah. special guests. God damn it. We put so much Filmed fucking production live value into that shit. It gets us so much money. We get tourists because we do it. It's great. It just got renewed um, for a new season. Yeah. Actually. Oh, good, yeah. good, good for your village, I guess. Even killing you, <laughs> they would do oh, anything, right. including That's, killing you. <laughs> your death is the season finale. Yeah. As a matter of fact. Oh, I'm kind of honored, I guess. But killing me won't fix Celeste's legs. Maybe not, but it might ease the pain in her heart. It will make her happier to see you fucking die. Because you suck so fucking much. Did I mention that? You suck so oh, much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alright. I feel like you don't need to pick on me, because I'm already in prison. But, alright, I guess. It, besides, I doubt it. She'll still be miserable. I don't care what you think. Sister. You're in no position to talk. Hmm. Cecily glares at me. She stamps one foot against the ground. Electricity crackles about the bars of my cell. It's a warning. Whoa! Oh, it's warning. Sorry. I was right. This cell has been surrounded by magic. They really don't want me escaping. <laughs> Weird. We have to kill you. We have to. It's the only for you to experience the pain that my sister feels every day of every minute, minute of every month of every year because you let her fucking legs burn up. <laughs> it's the only for you. Huh? I like that. Me too. Listen, a lot of people have hard lives. I've got dandruff. Nobody's perfect, you know? <laughs> she should just deal with it. But I, I imagine she must be in a lot of pain, yes. But does she have dandruff? No. So, <laughs> like, one could say life stops I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay. So are you going to do the honors yourself? I would love well, that sexually. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> I'll have to rethink that. 
<laughs> Cecily takes a step backwards. For a few moments, she looks unsettled, but soon regains her composure. I'm the best mage in the village, and I'm Celeste's sister. If anyone is qualified to kill you, I am. Nice. And you plan to make a public spectacle out of it? Or film a Wait, video? Duh. <laughs> That's Sick. right. I'll drag you into the village center <laughs> by your hair, Whoa. and I'll show everybody oh. what happens when you betray a member of Fairside Village. Oh, okay. Damn. I don't care if you're a legendary hero. That doesn't matter to me. Wow, how frightening. Okay, you need to sound a little more scared. <laughs> nah, I've been waiting for death. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Besides, legends don't spread up for no reason. Even without a sword, I'm more than capable of defending myself. Not if I blind you with magic. Well, if I kick you first. Then well, <laughs> um, yeah. my magic also has, like, binding capabilities and, like, can shock you to death. Well, Got my him. kick has uh, a, a special trigger where if a spell goes off, Teacher? it automatically kicks you. Teacher! <laughs> no, no fair! powers! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Electric, send them to the principal's office and have them expelled! <laughs> oh, boy, you have a lot of faith in your uh, magic, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> started practicing when I was young. It was just a hobby at first, but after what happened to Celeste, I was determined. I was gonna get strong. Strong enough to protect her. So no one can ever hurt her or make her arms feel like they're burning all the time, or maybe her <coughs> torso, or mm -hmm. her neck. Um, just her various hair? other body parts I feel like I should have protect, you know. Her hair? Is her hair oh, or, Yeah, table? her hair. That would, that would okay. kind of be um, inconvenient. Yeah, Good insurance yeah. in that hair, as a matter of fact. Yeah, actually. Surprisingly <laughs> affordable. Uh, strong enough to take down even the great warrior Arcadia if I ever had the chance. Sorry, what are we talking about again? <laughs> oh, wait, you've been practicing for my sake. I get it. Huh, I'm flattered. It isn't for your sake. It's for my sister Celesta's, because she's sick as fuck. A hey, for revenge? Yes, and soon I'll finally be able to end your life. <laughs> I'll finally take my revenge on you. Next week on Dragon Ball. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 